Hello, I'm Chris, and this year has travelled over from another driving instructor to do a mock driving test. During her test, you'll see any thoughts made on the screen, what speed she's driving, which gear she's in, and I'll be giving you some tips along the way to help you learn and hopefully help you pass your driving test. Well, I've never met Nissy before, so let's go and meet her. Well, thanks a lot for coming today. Okay. So how many lessons have you had? I've had 25 lessons and then I've been driving with my dad for seven months as well. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And you've got a test coming up? Yeah, in four weeks. That's why I did this mock to see like what I could improve on. Yeah. I think my following distance, like I need to work on that a bit. Yeah. And maybe like hesitation as well. That's another thing. For example, like roundabouts. Yeah. And you don't really know this area? No, I don't know this area. And you've never driven this car before? Never driven this car. Well, I think it's only fair that we go for a warm-up drive first then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, how would you check the direction indicators are working? Um, so you turn on the car and then you turn on the hazard lights mm -hmm. and you can get out and check all of the six indicators or ask someone to check for you. Okay, thanks. We're going to do the independent driving to start with mm -hmm. and I'd like you to follow a series of directions given by the sat navs please mm -hmm. and I'll let you know when independent driving's finished. Okay, drive on when you're ready please. Mm -hmm. oh. Good all round checks and Nissy got the tell me question correct. A show me question will be asked a bit later on during the drive. I'm pleased that Nissi noticed on the sat nav screen that there's a right turn coming up, as it didn't say anything. Nissi's been practicing a lot with her dad, which can be really beneficial, gaining valuable experience. The only downside is that it's easy to pick up bad habits. As you heard earlier, Nissy doesn't know the area and hasn't got any idea where I'm taking her today. So I'm really interested to see how well she's going to do. You never know what's around the next corner. Drive at a suitable speed, so that if there is something, such as a big lorry coming towards you, a cyclist, or children in the road, that you can react in time without having to panic. Nissi approached that corner really well. At the end of the road, turn right. This is observing really well at this junction. Not observing properly is the number one reason why people fail their driving tests in this country. Nissi has a good road position. At the end of the road, turn left, then take the third right. On a tight road like this, always be on the lookout for any spaces that you might have to use. Nissi's got a good road position. Again, good observations. Don't be afraid to lean forward to get a better view around parked cars. Good use of the mirrors. Nissy didn't get a fault here, but she could have anticipated that this car was going to go through, move into this space a little, 
and slow down to help them out and make it more comfortable. The warning sound is because Nissy hasn't fully released the parking brake. She thinks that she's stalled, but actually switches off the engine. We're now in the way of other drivers. Unfortunately, this is a serious fault. You're not allowed any serious faults on the driving test, so this would be a test foul. The car in front could roll back or break down and this is keeping a safe distance away from it. You will notice that she occasionally pumps the gas pedal up and down when moving off, which isn't necessary. Normally light pressure on the gas when moving off is sufficient. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Nissy done the right thing cancelling her signal as it might have been misleading. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit. But she should have checked her mirrors before moving back to the left for any cyclists. When driving at this slow speed, they can easily catch you up and pass you. This black car's coming off, a small chance to go. A good opportunity, I'm glad she went. Nissy did well checking her mirrors before moving out around these parked vehicles, as you never know who might be overtaking you, such as a motorcyclist. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you'd open and close your side window, please? This is changed to fourth gear instead of second, which has made the car stall. The car behind got quite close to us. Unfortunately, this is a serious fault. If you occasionally make the same mistake when changing gear, then have a look at our other video as it might help. This is driving at the right speed through these tight gaps.
Pull up on the left in a safe place, please. Good mirror checks. And I'm glad she crept forward and didn't block the driveways. Drive on when you're ready. Good all round checks, including the blind spot. The parking brake hasn't been fully released. Good mirror checks. Turn left, then take the second right. Nissy changes from third to second and then first, but it's less wearing and less work once you've slowed right down to do a block gear change from third straight to first and miss out second. Nissy checked the interior mirror, but she should have also checked the right hand mirror for anyone overtaking her. Otherwise a good turn. Pull up on the left in a safe place please. Nice parking, close to the curb and parallel with it. Drive on when you're ready. Good all round checks, but make sure it's clear behind before you signal, as they might think you're going to move off in front of them. Nissy moved off without fully releasing the parking brake. Earlier on she got a serious fault for moving off control, so no more faults are recorded in this section. A nice slow approach. And good mirror checks. Again, another good slow approach, which meant that she didn't have to stop completely and do a hill start. Don't forget to check not only the interior mirror, but also the right hand mirror before moving out around the parked vehicles, just in case someone's trying to overtake you. Apart from a 10 minute warm up drive before the mock test, Nissi has never driven this car before. The car almost stalled driving that slow in second gear, but Nissi managed to get through.
I like the way Nissy's kept a space between us and the parked car. This will make it easier to manoeuvre back out again. Good mirror checks. At the end of the road, turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. There's a tree blocking our view to the left, so I'm glad Niss is careful. Another driver has let us out. It's just coming up on the left here. Right? Turn left. Nissy forgot to check the left hand mirror before signalling for any cyclists. That last turn was straight after the one before, and it just shows how important it is to keep planning ahead, occasionally glancing at the sat nav screen. Good mirror checks. Turn left, then sharp right. Sharp right. It's one turn straight after another, and Missy is handling it really well. It's good to see Nissy pick up some speed and make progress when it's safe. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. This car is turning right and will block the car to our right, which will give Nissy a chance to go, but she's got to time it right. A bit delayed moving off, without much acceleration, meant that the car to our right got a little close. A driving fault this time, but it could have been more serious if she was any slower. just for a moment and turn left at the mini roundabout please so I'm going to turn left and take the second exit A lot of new drivers hate going through these, but she judges it really well. Okay, if you just stop just where we are, please. Just for a moment. Okay, the forward bay parking exercise. I'd like to drive forward into bay on the left or right, so you end up between the white lines, please. 
Okay. okay, when you're ready. You can choose any bay you want. Mm -hmm. Although she had a good all-round check at the start, Nissy should have observed better round to her right before turning, just in case anything's changed and someone could be going past her. This is a driving fault. Um, okay, yeah, reverse, just have to lift up this metal collar and it's to the left oh, okay. and then forward, yeah, see. Nissy turned right a bit too early and isn't quite in the bay, but at least she's realised and is going to do something about it. Good all round observations. She just needs to move the car over to the left a little. Um, yeah, you can. She corrected the parking well, but it would be a driving fault for correcting it, which is better than a serious fault if she left it how it was, out of the bay. Okay, when it's safe, I'd like to reverse round to the right, please. Okay. Good observations, it's so important. This is following directions given by the sat nav again. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. before that blue car please. Try and get reasonably close to that car but leave enough room to get back out. Okay, you can stop there, that's fine, thanks. Drive on when you're ready please. Nissy's parked well and is doing the right thing waiting for it to be safe to go. The road is quite tight here, so she needs to make sure it's clear behind and that there isn't any oncoming vehicles. Good job moving off safely, and apart from the parking brake not being released properly, in control. This would normally be a driving fault, 
but she's already got a serious fault for moving off control. No more faults are recorded in this section. Always remember to push the parking brake fully down and then release the button. It's good to see Nissy making progress when it's safe and not driving too slowly. Nissy does the right thing here and that is to slow down when you can see less ahead and the road gets tighter trying to be ready for any potential hazards. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Good approach and mirror checks. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. The first exit on a roundabout is not always left. This one is actually ahead, as you can see on the sat nav screen and the sign we just passed. As Nissi is going ahead, no signal is necessary, but it's not worth a fault. The bus is blocking drivers to the right, which gives Nissi a great opportunity to go. A tight gap ahead. I'm glad Nissi's being careful. I'm really pleased Nissy saw the 40 mile per hour sign, although normally you'd accelerate before you change up to fourth gear so that the car doesn't struggle. After 300 yards, turn right. Although Nissy checked the interior mirror, she forgot to check the right hand mirror for anyone overtaking her before signalling, resulting in a driving fault. To save wear on the clutch, it's best not to hold the biting point when you're waiting, or waste fuel by revving the engine. Instead, Get prepared when you're about to go. These vehicles are stopping, get prepared to go now. Nissi moved off without fully releasing the parking brake. The speed limit is still 40 miles per hour. It's good to see Nissi keeping a good safe distance from the car in front. The speed limit is now 30 miles per hour. You should check the interior mirror before slowing down to see how close following traffic is. Nissi did check, but after she slowed down. This is a driving fault.
A good opportunity, and Nissy keeps in position. When it says you've reached your destination, it means the independent driving's finished. Oh. So I'll direct you from here. There's an ambulance approaching behind us, with its flashing blue lights and siren. Cyclists. The ambulance. I know, should we pull over here? Let's have another quick look at what happened. I'm pleased that Nissi spotted the ambulance, but it would have been dangerous to pull over here so close to the cyclist. The ambulance. If we stopped here, the ambulance would struggle to get past us, as we've got traffic behind and an island. Uh, should we pull over here? You might not get to experience an emergency vehicle on your driving lessons, but remember to stay calm and not to panic. Plan carefully where a safe place to pull over is, so that the emergency vehicle can pass you. Signal to show that you've acknowledged the emergency vehicle, but don't signal if it potentially confuses other road users. Be ready to move on as soon as they've passed and it's safe. Take the next road on the left, please. But be aware, as there might be another emergency vehicle straight after the first one. The next road on the left, please. Pull up on the left in a safe place, please. You can ignore the driveways for now. Okay, you can switch off and relax. It's the end of the test. How was that? Um, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was just so many mistakes. Like, I can't even remember. I think um, changing gears was like a struggle for me in this car. And mm -hmm. and have you had a problem with the gears before? With... Um, no, I feel like. Well, I used to, but like that was long ago. Mm. But today, I just feel like I was panicking, then trying to change gears, and then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was once where he was turning right at traffic lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it turns out I figured out it was the handbrake. Yeah. I thought that was the store, so oh my goodness, yeah. The handbrake was the. <laughs> <laughs> I kept forgetting to put it fully down. Mm -hmm. It's because, like, in my instructor's car, when yeah. you put it down, it goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. So I kept thinking it was down, but it wasn't. We continued to chat about what went right and wrong to help Nissi learn from the faults she made. Although she wasn't successful today, with a bit more practice, I'm sure Nissi will soon be at the standard needed to pass the driving test. A big thank you to Nissi for taking part in this video. And thanks to you for watching. If you found the video helpful, then please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already as it really helps us make more videos. Good luck with your driving test if you have one coming up soon and let us know how you got on in the comments below. And bye for now.